that sound of opening a Guinness. Just Isn't incredible. So hmm. this is a bit of a different inside the brackets that I am really excited about. So today <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the legends and the stories surrounding what could be a myth, what could be fact, on the topic of is Guinness really better in Ireland. Now, Sandra, what better time to talk about this than in our lead up to St. Patrick's Day? There, there's none. There's none. It's just there's like none, it's just magical. So we both traveled to Ireland multiple times. We met over a pint of Guinness in Ireland, and we're just both of the opinion that it just tastes better, smells it better, does. feels better, looks better, everything in Ireland. So what we want to do is kind of talk about the different stories, but we want to get everybody engaged here too. Let us know what you think, because there seems to be some debate on the matter, but we're looking to you. Let us know down below what you think about all this. We're going to run over or go over all the basic theories as to why Guinness could possibly be better in Ireland itself, and we'll see what we think. Sandra, what do you think for you is the biggest reason for why Guinness is better in Ireland? Well, I'm, I usually answer this question with, uh, you know, a, a more hmm. scientific, let's call it, part. And you take a, the scientific, more you do. Yeah. Ro romantic part, like uh, the, <laughs> so, the, the scientific part of the answer or logical mm -hmm. part of the answer. It's not scientific, but logical. No time for that, logic. Uh, well, it's obviously uh, any beer is better the fresher it is. And in Ireland, obviously, is as fresh as it can possibly be. And not only right that, the but the, all the pubs are, you know, pouring a lot of them. Uh, so they are constantly, you know, keeping their lines clean well, and, uh, no, no, sorry, not only clean, but like, you know, they just run all the time. Yeah. So the beer doesn't have time to just sit there for a long time. Well, dude, that's the thing, right? I mean, you remember the time we spent in Dublin, we've both been there multiple times, but they have those flatbed yep. trucks, the Guinness flatbed trucks that are just literally, they're driving kegs, like dozens of kegs back and <laughs> forth from the St. James Gate Brewery to pubs around the city. And it's a constant thing. You see these trucks mm -hmm. all the time going round and round. So I think you're right. The freshness factor is a big thing where it's just the, the amount of Guinness that's consumed yep. in pubs there per capita on average is just so much higher that it's just fresher. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, and you can attach to that the fact that, you know, maybe their lines are uh, very short. Maybe, you know, they yes. are clean more often. Maybe uh, there's a little bit more attention to the uh, to the whole process and, the, the you know, the, the, the presentation, the cleaning of the glasses and yep. all of that, which all factors into any it kind all factors of beer here. experience. 100%, right? especially the length of the lines, like you mentioned, right? Uh, apparently they have... The kegs are right under the tap for the most part. They're as go. much as possible, as close as possible to the actual tap. That plays a huge factor because the beer doesn't have to travel as far to get to the tap and it helps with the creaminess apparently from what we, this is all conjecture. This is all legend and lore. So please let us know down below if you have any facts that contradict this or if you have any opinions that contradict this, we would love to hear. But if you're looking at the general stories that are out there, that is one of the main things combined with the freshness. So there is, a theory out there that we are debunking, that we have debunked. We're the mythbusters of beer, so to speak. But there are a lot of people that think that pasteurization has to do with it. And there are some rumors around about this, about how the beer that's being exported is pasteurized more to increase the shelf life. So pasteurization being exposing the beer to really, really high temperatures that kill off bacteria, right? So um, this is not true. So we can debunk this right away. We spoke to somebody at Diageo who confirmed this for us. There is no difference in the actual beer itself that you would get in a keg in Ireland or that you would get in a can that you buy anywhere else. But then again, the freshness factor comes into play. Right. How long has that beer been sitting in a can as opposed to how long has the beer been sitting in a keg that you're drinking at a pub in Ireland? So exactly. That's something to consider. But here, here's the other part of the question, right? Or the answer, let's say the more romantic aspect, which is where and why I say that Guinness is better in Ireland. Uh, and it's because just you are sitting in Ireland and you're at, exactly. uh, you're in an Irish pub. And, exactly. uh, you know, the atmosphere is different. The, even the air smells like Guinness there, it, because, it especially if you're in Dublin. It does. Um, so, when you're within yeah. like a 20 minute walk of that brewery, you can smell the roasted malts like it's exactly the air smells like it. Yeah, it smells like Dublin. Mm. Uh, I, again, sorry, I meant one in the same, my friend, one in the same. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Let us know down below. Have you been to Dublin? Have you gotten a pint of Guinness anywhere in Ireland? Let us know. What's your, if you have, what's your favorite that you've had? What do you think is the best? 
What do you think about if there's a difference between Guinness where you are as opposed to getting Guinness back in the homeland in Ireland? We'd love to hear from you. Cheers, everybody. Sláinte. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Sláinte. Cheers.